Oh, hey, you beautiful bastards. How are you all doing today? Excellent? Yeah? No? Maybe? Maybe? Just a little bit? Well, hopefully you will all be feeling a lot better than I am. Because we ventured into this weird dungeon-like basement, if I recall. Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. <laughs> oh, excellent. I am not putting any egg to my ear. Especially these demonic eggs that people are talking about that are the centre of the earth. Okay. What? Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. If this torch fails on me, I'm going to cry. What exhumation? What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What be stitching of parts? I doubt I will ever be found, yet I leave you this. Scrawled in the melodorous half-light whilst my tormentor shuffles below. My fellow prisoners keen and squeal in a gloom. And where I wait for the knocking upon my cage, it signifies it is, finally, my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. I don't want to go into the interior. I don't care what it is. What? Do, oh no, which way do I go? Who the f Who the hell is talking? Shh. It's okay, just. No, no need to. What? Why does it sound like some sort of voodoo chanting? Are they in here? Oh my god. And now there's a baby, excellent. Why? Oh. <gasps> what the f? Mr. Pig? Did you go to the market or did you stay at home? Oh fuck. Please do not. I'm, go oh, I'm going to stay in the light. Oh, is it turning into some form of time? What is this? Oh, what have we got here? Do I have to jump into it? No, it's just something I can do. I'll have you close if you don't mind. Please don't flicker on and off. Oh, wow. This uh, ominously lit corridor, which I think I might have to go down. Oh, that's itch my nose. Why, why are we here? Please, I don't want to be here. You know what? I, I give up. I've abandoned my children. Let them die. Let them do whatever they want. I don't like this. No. You fucking what? Oh no! I'm fucked, ain't I? I'm, I'm balls, I'm balls. Please don't come round here. <gasps> Did he hear me? Can I like pull you across? Where's he gone? Yeah, apparently he's over here. <laughs> the fuck is he? Whatever he is, he does not look pleasant. <sighs> okay, so he's done for. I hope. Oh! Thank God. And so to the stoking. The workers sing as they work. They sing as they eat. They sing as they make toilet. Make poo poo. In other words. They are always singing. If you place your ear to the ground, you can hear them still. Well, that's quite scary because that sounds like a story that you want to say to haunt people. All the workers are dead! 
but feel free to just put your ear on the floor and listen to them as they weep into your soul. Right, I can get off now, Josh. Stop being a pussy. Okay. I don't trust the floors in this game. For some reason, I keep on thinking that I'm going to fall through one sooner or later. Oh, oh, I pull you. Okay. Oh God. Ah. Have we been here before? There's a cart of pigs. Okay. Nevertheless, I'm going to close you. Oh wow, that is really well hidden to be fair. I'm going to just leave you open. I said leave you open a little bit. There you go. God. God damn it. Okay. Do we need to fill some cup? I assume. <coughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, we're going into the factory. The heart of it all. <sighs> Hopefully my children are over here. I would like to just, uh, you know, pick them up. Throw them back out the window. For being naughty little shits. And disobeying me and leaving the house. And making me go on this treacherous journey. That is making me have to run away. Water in his shoes. Always the water. And the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. Did you get one of them KFC buckets? And you should have got a boneless one. Stupid tit. My soul shudders at what I have seen. But at last I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I cleave the waters and lift my little darling clear of its vile cradle. Okay, so my children are in the factory, in the lower levels, which have been flooded. So, if we don't make haste, even though we can run, even though I choose not to, can I climb through here? We need to get rid of the flooding and help my darling children. Where are they? Oh god, that Dunnoff looks scary, doesn't it? Any notes? Oh, here we go. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Oh wow! I love how he mocks the uh, the religion and fellow people who follow the religion, but he's just as batshit crazy about prophecies and right. If there's any pigs around here, you could piss off. I know what this lantern when it flickers. I know what it means now. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Thank God we got these. Uh, what the fuck? You little shit. No, 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 no. Oh, that actually hurt my chest. Oof. Sorry, mister. My mister chair. I was about to say, thank God for these electrically uh, short coils that are giving off the heated light. Or whatever they may be. Because without them, we'd be fucked. But apparently, they like to flicker on and off as well when pigs are around. What is wrong with these pigs? Are these like, are they... They got some form of anti-electricity EMC. Oh, hello. I think I might have to go upstairs. Okay, or not. Let's have a look. So you want me down there? You must consider me bloody mad. 
They must have that electromagnetic pulse, these pigs. Because wherever they are around light, they just seem to uh, fuck it up. I want some notes. Here we go. Okay. Hello? What? Hmm? Oh, wow. Hello? Do you hear me, Mantis? I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. Well, they just get so confusing now. We are talking in riddles! Who is this saboteur? Kids, shut up! I'm trying to look for notes. Here we go. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed trough at one end so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. Excellent. Really wanted to think about that while reading. We use the natural static charge built up in the friction of the carts against the belts to build an electrical charge. Electrical? Electrical, Josh. Say it properly. Which are contained within glass vacuum canisters of the size of the stunning arm mechanisms and delivered along to stun the arms via copper cabling. We have observed that the artificial lighti lighting? Lightning? God. Contained within these canisters seem to calm the product further. Post stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical, the physics of which tips the stunned product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. This hook passes normally through the ha haunch or thigh of the product, and from this point we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channel floor which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run into the fluid collection tanks. So sooner or later we're going to come across some pig poo. Pick guts, pick everything. Piss off whoever's coming near me. Aperture! <clears throat> right, do we go up? No, we go down. Back down, my fellow friends. So, um, our doppelganger, Miss Amandus 2.0. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. No, no, please no. Mr. Mandus 2.0 giving us some cryptic uh, phone calls. <sighs> We're sooner or later are going to bite me in the ass when I realise I've forgotten every single bit and don't know what the smeggy wants. So, under the pistons, there's some machinery piston like things here. We have a furnace. Don't. No! I wonder what the... Um, what, what do you want? What do you want? Fire! Do you need more? Is that what you need? Oh, here we go. Burn, baby, burn! Let's do this! Do I have to close your impressive button? No, no, no! Okay, so that's working, I think. Furnace 1 is also working. Piston control room! Is that, where is that coming from? Is that coming from behind or in here? What we have here? A series of collecting fence have been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the product often expels stinking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine, and productivity is actually increased. 
a simple stroke of genius, but one that ex encapsulates the benefit of self-regulatory automation. Regulatory. Regulatory. Why is it not causing... You see, what normally happens when a chair goes into a ceiling fan like that, the end of the world occurs. Anyway, so we are missing number six, apparently. Number four. Okay. This, this is going to be something. Hello? Well, this really doesn't look good. Let me just check the others. So, number five is here as well. Number three. Ah, three's not working. Oh, wait, we've got slidey doors now, have we? Okay, that's fine by me. Get. Oh, you missed! How many do we need? Anyone know what the limit is? Any. Oh, is it just two? I can only find two. Regardless. Oh, that hurt my ears. Hello? I really don't like these pigs. I really, really detest them. Okay, so we are fine on this end. All we need is number six. Which is going to be on the right hand side. Should I save? Should I? I've... No, we cannot. Just stay low and shut the hell up, Josh. We need this up and running, then we can proceed. Was that it? The only piece? I don't know if one's going to be enough. Every time that noise. That's not enough, is it? Nope. Okay, so let's venture to the other side. Hopefully, there's a an extra piece lying around for us to uh, rob and just transport to the other side. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ! Look at the size of this one. Okay. Okay, okay. I really should have closed that door. Oh. oh. Yes. Don't do that noise. Do not do that noise. The fires are stoked, assuming the same architecture is responsible here as the chemical plant. I surmise that a centralised control system regulates the operates the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it, and hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the flames. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. I hope we can do this. Let's just... Is that open? No, okay. Let's just go to the piston control room. Let's see if anything has happened. Oh. Mr. Pig, you little shit. Hello? Do we get in here? What is that? Do we get? Shut up, Josh. Okay, so we've got nothing here, have we? No? I just want one big glorious switch that just says on and then I come along flip it oh wow stop are your furnaces fueled I would fucking hope so Oh my god!
I don't like this. Just in case of an emergency. Oh, Mr. Pig, where have you gone? You little shitbag. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have a little break. Whew. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We have uh, progressed into the factory. We have uh, <laughs> set the uh, furnaces alight. And now all the pistons are working. Not to my liking, as all the lights have gone off for some strange reason. But um, yeah, I hope you liked it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day, beautiful people. See you later.